we started this new department of systems biology here at Harvard Medical School about four years ago. And some might have asked, why did you start a department of systems biology at a medical school? And in fact, uh, if you think about it, it's the right place to start a department of systems biology because you want to understand the human is the ultimate system. Um, it, it's living together with all kinds of things in your gut and around you in the environment, plus it is the vehicle for all these diseases, and so it is the sort of the ultimate systems problem. So imagine a world where you, for example, um, you're developing a drug. Imagine a time where you understood the system, the human, so well that you wouldn't have to do clinical trials. So that, that would be an outcome of systems biology that would tr be transformative. Because it, now, for example, when you develop drugs, it's a very tedious process. There's testing in animals. There's testing in humans. There's clinical trials. It can take as little as 12 and as many as 20 years to develop a promising drug. So I think one of the successes we envision for systems biology is to transform how we do drug development and that will impact on you. Um, as far as understanding other types of systems, um, I personally have an interest in bioenergy and I think that understanding new organisms and how they harvest sunlight to produce things such as energy um, could be transformative in your lifetime. So those are a few examples that excite me.